Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for bestebookreads.com. Today I just want to show you Kobo Aura HD's chess game and also some of the settings that it has. We've covered a little bit, touched on it a few days ago. Just wanted to give you an idea of what the app is capable of. So how you do it is you go to settings. Let me zoom in so you can actually see extras and then you have to choose the game that you want to play I want to go with chess so once you get there you can actually choose different levels now the beginner and even the professional I personally can beat but then when you go to Grandmaster it's actually you actually feel that you're playing a, a smart computer. Maybe it's not something that's going to beat the current champion or world number one, Magnus Carlsen. But what it can do is actually push you and maybe just entertain you if you're, if you're a pro. So let's just choose that. Play as white. Now it does have some issues, I should say. For instance, sometimes it doesn't recognize checkmate. It also is a is a pain when sometimes you stop, you know, before a checkmate and you come back and the only option that it gives you is just resign or start a new game. So there are some glitches, some flaws in the game. And the obviously let me go back here so you can see this. I sorry about that. So the graphics are not exactly a tablet like, and you don't, you shouldn't expect that. You're talking about an eater there with the e ink screen. So this is pretty decent for what you get, for what you pay for. Even though I still believe, and a lot of we got a lot of negative feedback on that video that we did with the review of Kobo Aura HD. A lot of people are complaining of why are you being so negative about such an exciting device. I just don't think it's hundred sixty nine dollars. I don't think it's worth under for $69. That's my personal opinion. And even though you have games, you have a faster processor, you have a beautiful display. $169 for an EV there? I'm sorry, I can't. I, as someone who, who can probably buy just one device per year, do you really believe that they're going to go for a Kobo Aura HD versus, let's say, a Nook HD Plus or... A Kindle Fire or Nexus 7 or anything like that. Yes, as a as a, someone who's been following e-readers, I like tab e-readers. I like tablets also. I like the display e-ink. I like the company, what they've done, the watches. I love them. But let's be honest, the price is a little bit too high. And um, we'll see. We'll see if Kobo starts at putting more. I My understanding was that the, the initial phase was going to be a limited production for Kobo or HD and if they received enough orders probably then they would go ahead and release more so we'll see I I like the device I just don't think it's hundred sixty nine dollars but it does have a nice chess game you can get hints you can see the moves a list of them you can save and you can quit. So that's the options available for chess on Aura HD. Decent device for an idiot there, has games. You be the judge if it's worth $169. I like the device, I don't like the price. You tell me. Thanks again for watching guys.